Next up, this is out of Washington's blog. Obama appoints Fox to investigate spying in the hen house. That's right. Obama has hired James Clapper as head of a, quote, independent group of outside experts to investigate NSA spying. Of course, Clapper is the same guy who lied to Congress about spying, falsely claiming that the government wasn't spying on the American people. He subsequently had to apologize for Congress for that act of deception. So yet again, we see the administration purporting to offer accountability and oversight, yet appointing insiders who will guarantee damage control. Just as we saw with the 9-11 Commission report, this is not about getting to the truth of the matter and uncovering government malfeasance. It's about covering up the criminal behavior because Clapper, of course, is director of national intelligence. He's the spy master in chief, yet he's the, quote, independent figure to provide oversight of the NSA. Barack Obama is literally trolling America. It's like hiring Bernie Madoff to investigate financial fraud, or it's like hiring Charles Manson to track down a serial killer. James Clapper, who lied about NSA spying, is now the independent expert to investigate the NSA. Next story, we are legion, anonymous presence in the US military. This is out of Liberty Blitzkrieg website. Are we going to see more leaks? Yes. A lot of anonymous members are mid to high rank NCOs. They are well respected, have connections and overly large security clearances. A lot of people who are part of the anonymous culture are just dying at this point for something to come across their table that isn't already out there. So despite the uh, war on whistleblowers and the hor horrific treatment of Bradley Manning, according to this BuzzFeed interview uh, with an active duty army captain and a member of Anonymous, quote, more leaks are on the way. So now you actually have people who are deliberately joining the military to try and become the next Edward Snowden. So the attempt to keep a lid on all this stuff appears to be failing. Speaking of whistleblowers, Kurt Nimmo reports Benghazi whistleblower lawyer Stolen Libyan missiles will be used to shoot down aircraft. A former U.S. attorney, Joe DiGenova, who is representing a Benghazi whistleblower, told a Washington, D.C. radio station on Monday that 400 surface-to-air missiles were, quote, stolen in Libya and given to some very ugly people, a.k.a. al-Qaeda. Now, of course, let's not in get into the debate of whether they were stolen or not, because we know for a fact that the surface-to-air missiles were actually being handed to al-Qaeda terrorists in Syria by the CIA as part of the now-confirmed, CNN had to report it for everybody to believe it, we were talking about it months ago, the confirmed weapons smuggling operation that was being run out of Benghazi, with the CIA, of course, now engaged in desperate damage control attempting to hide the details of that program by subjecting CIA agents in the region to monthly polygraph tests. So it's confirmed that the weapons are now going to the al-Qaeda rebels in Syria and that Benghazi was a key focal point for that operation before the assault on the consulate last year. So, you know, when U.S. airliners are being shot down and that's being used to justify military intervention in yet another country, just remember who gave the terrorists those surface-to-air missiles in the first place. Moving on, New Hampshire City wants a tank to use against occupiers and libertarians. This is out of Mother Jones. While the U.S. government, as we just reported, gives surface-to-air missiles to al-Qaeda terrorists, the police chief in Concord, New Hampshire, is, temp is attempting to secure a quarter of a million dollars from Homeland Security in order to buy a tank to target the real terrorists, occupiers and libertarians. And this is what the police chief, who was later forced to apologize when this went public, wrote in a filing to secure funding for this armored vehicle. Quote, the state of New Hampshire's experience with terrorism slants primarily towards the domestic type. The filing reads, we are fortunate that our state has not been victimized from a mass casualty event from an international terrorism strike However, on the domestic front, the threat is real and here. Groups such as the Sovereign Citizens, Free Staters and Occupy New Hampshire are active and present daily challenges. So there you have it. Once again, they're identifying peaceful political activists 
like libertarian libertarians and occupiers occupy wall street movement as domestic terrorists and trying to buy tanks with dhs help to be used against those peaceful political groups once again the real targets of the war on terror are domestic political activists now you can watch the infowars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free Check it out at infowars.com forward slash show.